We're going to get started. Uh, we have a quorum. Good morning. Today is January the 23rd at 10.05 here in City Hall in the Council Chambers. Uh, this is a reconvening of the Biennial Audits Oversight Commission. Um, I'm sitting in for Chair Costello this morning. Uh, to my left, we have um, Inspector General Isabel Cummings. Uh, sitting in for Comptroller Bill Henry. We have Deputy Comptroller Erica McClammy. Uh, myself, to my right, we have Mr. CFO. Uh, and we are joined by our amazing uh, staff member from DLS. Thank you so much. So with that, first thing we're going to do is jump into adopting uh, the minutes uh, from uh, last meeting. I hope that you know, all members had a chance to kind of review the amendment, um, uh, minutes at this point. Or is there any discussion or unreadiness associated with the minutes? Hearing and seeing none, I'll take a motion. There, there's a motion on the floor. Is there a second? Second. It's been moved and properly second. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. All those opposed, please say nay. Uh, the ayes have it. The minutes are now adopted for my Monday, December the 18th uh, meeting of the, again, Biennial Audits Oversight Commission. If we would note that um, uh, Councilman Burnett, Councilman Slifer are absent and the chair um, is uh, joining us pretty quickly, shortly. With that, we're gonna turn it directly over to uh, Mr. Auditor, um, Mr. Pash, if you could kind of walk through, I guess, kind of an update uh, from our last meeting. We appreciate the time that you've taken um, uh, and uh, the responsiveness that you've provided to this body associated with some of our discussion from the last meeting. At this time, the floor is yours. Good morning, honorable committee members. My name is Josh Pash, and I am here to go over the audit plan for the calendar year 2024. We had done a preliminary presentation in December, and the point of this meeting is to go over comments that were made during that meeting and to get approval on the entire um, audit plan. So the Group B calendar year 24 audit plan, I will go ahead and present the whole thing again and then highlight those um, changes that we discussed in the last meeting. So Baltimore City Health Department, this was presented, presented at the last meeting, effectiveness of controls over contracting process, including professional services and grant recipients, Baltimore Police Department, there was a request for modification that we look at the effectiveness of the towing process. Prior, it was looking at the scheduling of Baltimore Police staffing. Department of Human Resources hasn't changed the effectiveness of the hiring process. Department of Law hasn't changed effectiveness, effectiveness and controls over collections, for example, general damage to city property. Department of Planning is also the same effectiveness of controls over the Baltimore City Historic tax credit for historic rehabilitations and restorations. Park and recreations is the same as last December, which is effectiveness of controls over resource management and payroll. And then for transportation, effectiveness of minor privileges. And um, Councilman Costello had asked that we cover certain um, areas in that, which we will. And then for MOED, the effectiveness of control structure over non-recurring grants. <clears throat> And the council asked us to um, come back with scopes for uh, mayor's office recovery programs, which we did. And the scope that we came back with, with after discussion with the office um, was effectiveness of controls over the American Rescue Plan Act expenditures and looking at the effectiveness of the uh, mayor's office recovery programs and city agency controls over subrecipients. Um, we were asked to look at the expenses, so that will cover the expense tracking and the bulk of the expenses for those grants is going to be with subrecipients. And then the other one was the mayor's office of neighborhood safety and engagement, looking at the effectiveness of controls over safe, safe streets program expenditures. Um, we were asked to look at policies, so we'll be looking at the policies related to those, how they're being approved, whether they are applicable to the program. And we are asking, um, based on the scope and breadth of those two, to consider those two as alternatives to the Department of Law and the Department of Planning um, proposed audit objectives that I mentioned in the previous slide. I'll take any questions. Thank you, Mr. Auditor. At this time, are there any questions or concerns uh, from members of the commission? 
Madam IG, the floor is yours. this. Yeah. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Um, I thought that they were excellent choices and I th I'm just, the only thing that I'm concerned at is that um, I want to make sure that having actually my office reviewed different aspects of every department listed here. Um, I do feel that the two that you have added, um, primarily um, the one involving Safe Streets, should take a priority. Um, we actually have a, a report coming out soon on the other one who did well. So I, am, I just want to make sure that that's not going to be at the bottom of the list. Um, yeah, so the way we schedule the audits is based on the scheduling constraints of the client. So for example, if uh, let's say the Department of Finance is very busy at the end of the year and very busy at the beginning of the year for the annual finance report, so we'll schedule them in towards the middle. And we go ahead and make that evaluation based on um, agency vacations and stuff like that. But um, we can go ahead as we're building those plans uh, based on those two factors, schedule those earlier in the year. Yeah, I, I do think, um that, that one should be a priority. Um, when when I, I ranked them, I, I thought that um, um, the Monzi and the health department and the police department, the towing, those, and then the um, park and recs should be um, more focused than some of the others. But I do think this is a strong list going forward. Thank you. Um, what I can do is after we've designed and laid out our audit plan schedule, I can send it out to you. Um, sure, or I can give you my ranking. <laughs> and um, just to note that the Mayor's Office of Recovery Programs and the Mayor's Office of Neighborhood Safety are not part of the um, biannual audit schedule, so it would require an exception. I realize that, but the amount of money that goes through, especially ARPO is what, 650 some million, so um, in, Everyone in Safe Streets has received a lot of money too. So I, I truly appreciate the priority of realizing that, you know, we got to follow the money. Thank you, Madam IG. At this time, are there any additional questions or concerns? Hearing and seeing none, the only thing um, I'll ask Mr. Auditor is um, I guess uh, I know that, uh, you know, this is a charter requirement. Um, you know, for us to do these biennial audits, and it explicitly spells out the, um, the the agencies in which we're supposed to. If we could just ensure that moving forward this way, we're not doing anything uh, to kind of go against the will of the charter, and that we're consistent with that. Um, we truly, truly just want to do that due diligence uh, before we move forward. I know that uh, this is not set in precedence. I know that we've kind of done this before in the past, but I still think it's important just so everybody's on the same page uh, as we kind of move forward. Um, I've, we've also been joined uh, by Councilman in the 8th District, uh, Councilman Chris Burnett. Um, we are about to wrap up. Do you have any questions, concerns, or anything? Uh, All right, because we're going to vote soon. Uh, at this time, I'll take a motion to adopt the proposed plan. Can I uh, make two points? Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Auditor, the floor is yours. Okay. Um, so one of our requests was if we are adding MRP and Muncie to replace those with law or planning or another two. And yeah. I just want to get the um, approval or a response from the um, committee. Yeah, we're going to vote on it right now. Okay. Yep. So uh, with that, if we could... Um, if I could hear motion to vote on the plan that's in front, front of us. Again, uh, removing uh, Department of Law and planning and adding in Monty and Recovery Programs um, Office to the eight listed biennial uh, audits. With that, is there a motion? I move that we approve the, um, the, the list of audits um, with um, moving uh, Department of Law and Department of Planning um, 
to the side um, for this upcoming year in adding um, the Mayor's Office of Recovery Programs and the Mayor's Office of Neighborhood Safety and Engagement. There's a motion on the floor. Is there a second? Second. It's been moved and probably second. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. All those opposed, please say nay. The ayes have it. The plan that we have before us has been approved. Thank you so much, Mr. Auditor. I think that there's one additional thing we wanted to talk about, uh, and that's the financial versus performance audit. I know from a financial perspective, some of it is redundant. Uh, so it's just important to put that on the record and try to, you know, pathway, the, communicate the pathway forward um, so we can be as transparent as possible. So could you kind of walk us through that, Mr. Auditor? Right. So in the past, has been presented to this committee to um, give an exclusion or to remove the financial um, biannual audits. Um, the reason given is in the past, the, um, those audits have come up with the same findings as the annual financial report, and it was considered by this committee to be redundant with the annual financial report and the single audit. And so there was been a exclusion from this committee to perform those for that current year. Thank you with that. So uh, I think that's important, again, just that we put on a record so everyone's on the same page. Um, I, there was a lot of debate and discussion. Uh, I was on council at the time when we went down this path of doing um, these biannual audits. You know, many folks were pushing for performance. Uh, some folks also wanted to have finance. Um, we constantly said that we had, we had to do that every year anyway and the work would be redundant. Um, however, it is part of the uh, charter, so I think it's important for us to just acknowledge that, accept it, uh, and put it on the record of the plan that we have in place with the Department of Audits. Uh, so with that, I'll uh, ask for a motion for us to accept uh, the CAFR, the annual financial audit, uh, as the financial audit for the uh, agencies that we have in front of us. I'll make a motion that we accept the CAFRA and the um, financial audits as the audits, financial audits for the city. Is the motion on the floor? Is there a second? Second. second. It's been moved and probably second. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. All those opposed, please say nay. The ayes have it. Uh, we are good to move forward. Mr. Auditor, is there anything else that you would like to present to us today? No, thank you. All right, thank you so much. Uh, members of the commission, is there anything else that we would like to discuss? Or is there any unreadiness associated with our proceedings today? Hearing and seeing none, I adjourn. Thank you so much.